Hi, today I'm going to be doing a little test video on some plasma cutter consumables. The ones in my left hand here, these are ones that came with my Everlast welder. It has 1.2 written here, and that's the orifice size. And this one here, I ordered from Wish. So I don't know if it's going to be any good or not. They look pretty similar. And again, left is the Everlast one, and the right is from Wish. And again, they both look very similar. Not much for difference between them. This one, the Wish one's a bit shinier. That shouldn't make any difference. So I'm going to give those a test on a couple different things. I might put a couple holes in my welding table to mount my vise. See how well it can pierce through three quarter inch plate, which I'm, I'm not even sure if my welder or my plasma cutter is going to do that with good consumables. But I'll, I'll find out, I guess. So I got a couple little holes marked for this record vise. And I'll try out the Everlast consumables on this hole, see if it works. And then if that hole doesn't work to pierce, what I might do, since this one's on the edge, I can just start on the edge instead of piercing in the middle of the hole and that'll it'll definitely cut through this it just might not pierce it and then for this side i might need to drill it if if i can't pierce this all right i got the a brand new everlast tip in here and i have my Plasma cutter set at about 70 PSI and 80 amps, which is the highest amperage this will go. And I'll see if I can pierce a hole right here. So I was able to pierce a hole and it doesn't look like I have too much damage if any to the tip. A little bit on the uh, fiberglass collar but that should be fine and I'll, I'll ream that hole out a little bit because I don't think a half inch bolt will fit through there as it is and then I'll uh, swap out consumables for the Everla or the uh, Wish ones and try that hole. There I just opened the hole up a little bit and almost no slag on the bottom of the hole. So they do do a very nice cut. All right I got the brand new wish consumables in there and I'll test those out I'll have to look at the videos again, but that definitely seemed like it took longer to pierce through there and spewed a lot more uh, gunk all over, all over the end of my plasma. But the hole ended up not too bad. It was a little, a little bit shaky there. 
And again, not really any slag down there. So, I think that's pretty good considering I won't be uh, actually piercing holes in three quarter inch plate very often. Especially because that's kind of the uh, higher end of what this plasma is capable of anyway. And now I'll move on to testing it on some thinner metal because the Wish ones actually came with a few that had a one millimeter orifice and my plasma, these ones here came with the plasma and these are all Wish ones. So I have these ones that are a, uh, trying to get it to focus, uh, a one millimeter orifice. So these ones might actually do better for thin metal than the, the Everlast ones do. But I'll just have to test them and see. Okay, for the next test, I have a toilet, or a toilet brush lid or toilet brush holder lid and this is extremely thin probably only 15 or 20 thousandths of an inch thick and for that again I have it at 70 psi and I have it set as low as it It'll go this time at 20 amps. And I'll, I'll just do a little, I'll pierce and maybe just do a little squiggle. See how clean it ends up. And if it has lots of discoloring and everything, then how thin the uh, cut is. All right, this time with the Everlast consumables. It's kind of not a great test because this is so thin. But I'll try the Wish stuff anyway and see how that does. Alright, I got the Wish consumables in here. And again, this one has a smaller orifice, so it might actually do a bit better. We'll see here. At least on this, there's not much real difference. Hard to tell whether I was traveling at the same speed or not with a consumable change in between cuts. I'll try it again on some uh, 10 gauge and see how that'll do. All right, this is Wish consumables and this is actually a piece of 14 gauge. So, quite a bit thicker than the toilet brush thing, but still pretty thin. That one there was with Wish consumables. I tried speeding up towards the end, which ended up with uh, 
one spot right there where it's not actually all the way through that or there's just a bit of slag connecting that gap but I'll try it again and that that was the wish stuff so I'll try it again with the Everlast stuff all right time to try with the Everlast stuff again I'll just kind of speed up as I go and see how it goes So, the Everlast stuff, even though it has a larger orifice, it looks like it actually uh, makes a, a narrower cut. And again, I sped up to the point where it kind of stopped cutting all the way through. But the uh, start with that Everlast consumable, it seemed like it uh, took a little bit longer to pierce through. Right now I'm still at 20 amps, so it's probably, I, it'd pierce a bit quicker if I had the amperage turned up a bit more. But from, from what I've seen so far, the Everlast stuff and the Wish stuff are fairly comparable. I don't know how long the Wish stuff will last. In comparison but Everlast I think it was like four of these cones and four of the electrodes was around a hundred dollars and on wish all of this so there was ten of these ten of these and twenty of these was ninety something dollars so I get about five times the amount of consumables for the same price and with them being pretty comparable I think I'll stick with the wish stuff they seem like a bit better of a deal and also Everlast most of like their welders I believe are actually made in China And that goes for their plasmas as well. So I'm assuming the consumables they have are from China. So if I can get five times as many consumables for about the same price and they're both coming from China, I think I'll stick with Wish. Anyway, thanks for watching.